Welcome to Morning Manna with Pastor Steve Mary. Today's topic, Are You Willing to Be Healed? When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, Go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. He went his way therefore and washed and came seeing. St. John 9, 6 through 7. Many people question God's willingness to heal. If it is God's will, is the response you normally get from a person when they're coming for prayer. But some may think, what if he doesn't? But the response should always be, what if he does? My question to you today is, are you willing to be healed? To be healed, the first thing that you have to do is to believe that Jesus is able to do the miraculous. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must first believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. My next question is, have you diligently sought the Lord for your healing? The third question is, do you believe what the Lord's prophet Isaiah in Isaiah 53 verse 5 said? There were four things that took place for your healing, but he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him, and with his stripes we are healed. The biggest problem today is that we don't believe the word. We say we do, but in our actions we prove different. Obedience is key to healing. John 9 reminds us, And he said unto him, Go wash in the pool. The word was spoken, Go wash. The obedience to the word brought healing. In Matthew 9, 6 through 7, here we understand the word. Take up thy bed and walk. In verse 7 was the obedience to the command. And he arose and departed to his house. He could have laid there and been crippled for the rest of his life. He had to make a decision to get up. We may read it, we may believe it, but if we don't obey it, it will never happen. We've got to get back to being apostolic. We are too worried about what if God doesn't work. But what if he does? The thing that you're missing is that these people don't know who Jesus was. We came to know him and even to be his children. He was a stranger to them. He came and spat in the dirt and put it on a man's eyes and told him to go and wash. And he obeyed and came seeing. He goes up to a complete stranger and said, get up and walk. And he got up and walked. Not today though. <laughs> the doctor told me I would always be blind. I would always be crippled. But the word of God says, by his stripes, you are healed. Somebody needs to get up. She didn't say, what's the use? I've been this way for 12 years. No, she said, if I may but just touch his garment, I shall be made whole. The thought of the day, we may read it, we may believe it, but if we don't obey it, it will never happen. God bless you today. In Jesus' name. Please remember to like and subscribe to my page on YouTube. Your support is much appreciated. We make a miracle walker, promise keeper, light and the darkness.